Hello, this is Jon Korbrup from EMD. In this tutorial, I'll talk about the vegetation exporter here in the SketchUp integration module. Um, what you can do with that is you can create uh, forests and hedges and things like that in SketchUp and uh, also uh, in Photomontage. So for instance, uh, here I would like to show uh, a hedge around the PV area down here and use that in my visualization. And you can see here I have already uh, set up this camera object here and uh, made a render of the PV panels. So next step is now to add a hedge around this uh, area and show how that looks on a visualization. So I have opened up the SketchUp integration module from this button and opened uh, SketchUp uh, from in here and lined it up so you can see the SketchUp uh, uh, application over here next to WinPro and now these two application are, uh, applications are communicating. So, um, as you can see, I already exported uh, the background map as a surface and the PV plant and also a photomontage. So, uh, actually now in SketchUp I can also see how uh, these um, PV panels look here on the on the photo. Maybe I just want to disable um, edge, edges and profiles. Okay, anyway, right now I'll start. Um, the way you do it is you uh, click on the uh, vegetation exporter to create a new exporter. It opens up this uh, window where you can select uh, what kind of vegetation you want to export from this list of uh, templates that comes uh, with the WinPro installation. You can also create your own templates if you like uh, and I'll get back to that um, later. Um, then you need to specify where to put the vegetation and how the size and scale and so, such should be. So I could use a shape file to define where to put it, or that should be an area shape file uh, that defines the areas within uh, where the, the vegetation should be put, or I can use a WinPro object. So in this case, I will try to use a WinPro object. And the then here's a list of previously created WinPro uh, object exporters. That is uh, actually exporters that export WinPro objects to shapefiles. So I don't have created any and uh, I'll just create a new one. And here you can see um, the kind of things you can export to shapefiles and use in this uh, situation. Uh, for instance, I could use a solar PV area uh, object exporter, but then if it did that, I will get the whole area filled out with vegetation, and I don't want that. Uh, instead, I uh, could use obstacle exporters, and then I should add obstacles where I want uh, the vegetation to come. But uh, I, I don't want to do that either. I'll just, for this demonstration, use a, a ruler object exporter. And I'll just take uh, all visible objects, and then where I, then I'll add the rulers uh, in a second, and then I'll just add a buffer around the ruler, saying uh, uh, three meters, for instance, and then that would create uh, a six meter wide uh, area everywhere I place a ruler object. So uh, then I want to scale uh, the vegetation to, let's say uh, for this demonstration, just uh, five meters. So this means that uh, the elements in, in this template that is a mix of these two uh, trees here uh, will be scaled. So the tallest element would be five meters. And uh, of course, the average height of the elements would be uh, a bit smaller than that. And randomize the position means that uh, if I run this exporter many times, uh, the vegetation will not come exactly uh, the same places, but uh, would, would be randomized. So that is the default. So now, before I run the exporter using this button or this button, 
uh, I must add these uh, ruler objects around the edge where I want uh, the vegetation to come. So I'll just uh, f follow the edges of the PV area. So I'll just hold shift down while I insert the ruler object. That is a small trick. Because then when I have inserted one ruler, it stays in insert ruler mode. So you can see, and then I can snap to it, holding control down, and then add uh, the next ruler. And then I'll just continue like this. I'll just make a, um, a little rough definition of the border here. Right. So, and then I right click to get out of insert ruler uh, objects mode. So now I got uh, all these rulers here, and then I'll run the vegetation explorer. Okay, and here you can see that in the model over here, I have uh, now got all these uh, Trees that was a part of the template I selected. And as you can see here, this uh, kind of uh, elements that is in this uh, template is following the camera object. So if I want to export these trees to uh, WinPro and use in a photo montage, then I should be sh uh, certain that I they are uh, focused in the direction of the of the camera object like they are now. So now I could actually select them and make them go back into uh, WinPro as a 3D object and render them here in my photo montage. But uh, I'm not happy about this uh, because as you can see here, for instance, there is a lot of, uh, they're missing something here. So now I could either, I could go and, and take some of the, I could take some of the trees here and, and, and simply if, if I, I know my way around in SketchUp, I could uh, I could uh, quickly create some new uh, objects like this by copying some of the existing ones. Or I could simply go back here into um, WinPro uh, and run the exporter once again. As you remember, I had this randomized position, so if I run it again, then I'll just get double up. On, uh, on trees here, but since it's only uh, following this uh, ruler, I want to add some more. I can uh, go into the vegetation exporter and say that it should be only the selected objects and not all of the ruler objects. So uh, now if I run it again, and you can see I selected this uh, ruler down here, then you only got double up on uh, the objects uh, right here. So um, you can see if I go to the camera that I exported to SketchUp, I can now see how it looks from the camera position. I just disabled the map. So, and, and then I got the two layers here from the exported, two exports of vegetation. So uh, I just say that now I'm happy with this and I'll disable uh, the other layers and use the selection tool and select all of these and put them back into WinPro. Ah, and before I do that, I should be sure that I am at the camera position so all the trees are facing the camera. Go into Tools, Export to WinPro. So now you can see that a 3D object is added here and you can see that the vegetation is uh, all around the borders following the ruler objects. So now if I go and render again here in the photo montage, you can see that uh, now there's a, a hedge here around the, the area. So. Um, as you can see, it's pretty dark, 
and that is uh, because it's getting the same kind of shading that uh, other objects is based on the sun position and things like that. So, but since the template for these uh, this vegetation here is uh, actually got its own shading included in the texture, I don't want uh, to have the shading here from uh, WinPro also. So I'll just go into the properties of this 3D uh, object I got from SketchUp. And then I'll say I want to illuminate it with uh, ambient light. So now if I just leave it here with a uh, full intensity, it will get exactly the same kind of lightning that it has in the template. So uh, but I can adjust it here. So if I, I think it gets too light, then I can go back here and uh, try to adjust this for this specific object. So that will go for the whole hedge here uh, around the area. So just run it again. So you can see that changed it uh, quite a bit. So I think maybe this is now too too light actually. Um, but then I could go back and into the properties of the object here and, and change it. So so this is uh, how you do this. And uh, of course I could have changed the the template here for the vegetation um, and uh, get some uh, other results. And I also I could. Actually, I could uh, combine different kinds of vegetation with uh, and, and run uh, run this exporter many times, and, and then I get a combination of different kinds of uh, uh, trees here. So finally, if you want to create your own templates, you can uh, select this button here, and you can actually you can edit. The ones that you created yourself, you cannot create uh, edit the ones that comes uh, with WinPro. But uh, uh, these ones, instead, you can create a copy of to make them uh, your own copy. So here you can see that uh, the template is actually SketchUp uh, projects that is lying in a specific folder to, uh, that is created by the WinPro installation. So here I can uh, create my own uh, template. So what WinPro does now is that it copies this template that I selected here and loads it in SketchUp. And uh, you can see it doesn't have an, an image of the template yet. Uh, I must add that myself. So I just say OK and uh, it takes a little uh, time to load SketchUp. So here we have it. Uh, you can see there's a warning about the, the template is created in version 2017, but that doesn't matter. Um, and uh, here you can see what a template looks like. It is uh, a, a lot of components. It, it needs to be components that is spread out over uh, an area uh, like this. And um, you can see that they are all facing the camera. Uh, they don't need to, uh, and actually it doesn't have to be uh, vegetation, uh, trees or plants or anything. It could be uh, anything like that. It could be anything. It could be people or something like that. So um, now I can modify this as much as I like. Um, it, does, it doesn't have to be this specific size. This is uh, it's just to get uh, it big enough to get some uh, natural variation in uh, the template so it doesn't uh, look uh, too artificial. Um, I can, uh, as I said, make any changes to it and one way to do it is to, for instance, I select uh, this uh, component here. I could go into edit mode and right click on it and say I want to uh, edit the texture, texture, and then I can uh, perhaps I can lighten it up or I can change it completely. Uh, it would open in Photoshop if I selected that. Also, I could uh, go and say uh, that I want to select uh, all instances of this particular uh, uh, component, and I could delete it. So now I am 
I have changed it quite a bit. I'll just undo that. Uh, of course, I could do it with the other component. Uh, there's only two components in this uh, project here. Um, I'll undo that as well. I could, uh, of course, make uh, replay some of the components. I could uh, add new ones. So now I'll just show you how I could uh, replay some of the components in the, in the project. If I go to the 3D warehouse to find something else uh, than what is here, I will search for 2D3. And I'll just take the first one here. And you can see here is a collection of 2D trees. So now I got a whole bunch of different trees. And if I, if I right click on it, I can explode this. So I got all the individual ones. Uh, you can see if I rotate it. Uh, as, as, as you saw, it was just a random uh, collection I was downloading. So uh, for the demonstration, I don't really care so much about how nice they look. Uh, or in, uh, You may want to create them uh, yourself if you're good uh, <coughs> at working with SketchUp. But um, now I can, for instance, say that uh, I want to replace uh, uh, these components down here with the, the other one. So if again I'll take the small um, bush here, select all of them, then I can go into the components uh, panel here and then I can select uh, any of these that is uh, this, this is uh, the component and then the components that is in the project now and I can uh, right click on any of them and say I want to uh, replace selected. So here we go. That was uh, quite dramatic. I'll just take another one. Uh, say replay selected here. Still, you can see that they are uh, quite too big. I'll take the selection tool and um, if I just go into one of them and I'll uh, on the keyboard I'll select uh, Control A to select everything and I'll just scale it. Uh, a bit smaller. I, I want it to be uh, centered uh, on the blue axis here. And I click outside. I think it's still too big. Control A and scale. So now it looks like it's uh, comparable with uh, some of the other uh, with the other component. So, uh, well, that's something else. So now I can uh, delete uh, the rest of the components that I did not use. And now I'll just uh, grab uh, a a screenshot of this. I'll press print screen and the, that will load my screen grabber and I'll just take a s snapshot of this. My screen grabber is called ShareX. It's a, a Win Windows app. Copy and now it's on the um, clipboard. So I'll go back to WinPro and uh, paste this image in here. And of course, I should uh, not forget to save my template. So now I got this template as well as uh, I have the other ones. So um, that is quite a, a simple procedure, I think. So uh, I think this is about uh, all for about uh, the vegetation exporter. Um, I can recommend uh, signing up. Uh, for our YouTube channel, so you get notified when the new uh, videos comes. So um, I hope you'll do that. Uh, but that is all for now, and thank you for watching.